What's up, Scorpio? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. How are you guys? We are getting ready to get into this vibe. Figure out the message that Beloved has for you at this time. Just got out of that Libra energy. And once again, I don't know. Someone needs to talk in that energy. So if you're a Libra cuss, uh, definitely go watch that reading. But um, Beloved, what's the message that you have for my Scorpions? What's the message you have for Scorpio, please? Ooh, angel of love. And you are a water sign. But the angel of love wants to pop up and pop out. So this definitely might be a reading about love. Um, healing the heart. Opening the heart chakra. Something along those lines. Let's go ahead and jump into this energy. Scorpio and see the messages that love has for you. Beloved, what's going on with Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know, please? What's the message for Scorpio, please? Thank you so much. Alrighty, so we have the meathead, the knight of, of swords. We have the page of flute, the daydreamer, page of wands. Oh, wow. We have the King of Mirror, the Intellect. We have the Four of Mirror, uh, the Reinsurance Angel. A lot of Swords energy on the board. Crown in the Reading, we have Destiny. Um, Destiny, Destiny. I believe that is Judgment. And... The page of pentacles or the page of rings, the optimist. So a lot of love coming in from what I can see, uh, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and get these energies clarified. See what's going on with this king of swords energy that's showing up in your reading. It could be you, could be your person. But with this meathead energy here, somebody here is a straight a-hole or been acting like an a-hole or treating you like less than you deserve or something like that. Let's see what's up. Beloved, what's the message for Scorpio, please? What does Scorpio need to know, please? What's the message for Scorpio, please? Ooh, the page of stores want to hop out on this king of mirrors. So maybe this person been watching you and at the bottom of the deck before I could even finish shuffle was the ten of swords. So it could definitely be some stuff going on with this person. But let's see what's up. The star and justice want to hop out as well. But let's see what's up. What's the message you have for Scorpio at this time? What does Scorpio need to know, please? What's the message for Scorpio, please? So at the bottom of the deck, the strength. You know, with this strength card, this is definitely someone that's recovering from a hospital visit, a hospital stay, someone that could have gotten a car accident, learning to walk again. So someone is is, is learning the beginning steps of something new. Um, it could be this king of swords energy that's learning like a new path or something, to, a new way of living, doing something differently. Okay. So we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. When you consider that aspect of life, it's definitely like a new beginning. But I feel like this person, this person has been a a-hole in the end. You see how this person is yelling and screaming and hollering and whatnot. It's like they might have a softer side, a softer energy to them now with this Ace of Pentacles energy. I feel like before <clears throat> Scorpio, like this person may have disregarded your feelings, disregarded your emotions, took you for granted, all that type of stuff, but something has changed. Something has shifted. They're seeing things differently now. They're not seeing things from the same perspective that they seen it before. Um, they could realize how harsh, how cruel, how mean, how indignant they've been to you. Kind of just, um, kind of just wanting like a, a new energy, a new change. Sometimes maybe this person seen themselves in a different light. Maybe there was a situation that came about and this person was able to see that the way they treat people, not just you, but the way they treat people is not what's up, okay? But 
for the four mirrors we got the empress and the um ten of cups this is like them seeing things clearly looking at themselves in the mirror seeing things from a, a different perspective some about you Scorpio changed the way this person um, thinks about life felt about life or something like that I feel like you know it takes it takes for a person to lose something to really appreciate it and when this reassuring rose it's like this person maybe this person I keep getting this energy of like this person took you for granted when I had you I took you for granted when when um you were there for me I took you for granted so this person is learning a lesson in love about taking love for granted. You know, a lot of times we pray and pray that God will send us like someone um, that's perked for us, someone to love us. You know, we get tired of going through, you know, all the other stuff. And this person shows up and sometimes they don't show up in the package that you thought they'll show up. Sometimes they show up surprisingly and quickly and all of that. And if you don't catch it, you'll miss that that was your actual person. I feel like this is what this person is starting to experience. It's like um, seeing things from a whole different perspective. You know, yeah, the meathead with this five of pentacles, uh, page of wands energy. They're just now starting to get it, which is crazy. They had to leave you in order to realize that this is that person, okay, walking away. And this energy, right? walking away that's why the night of mirrors is here the night of swords but walking away in that energy leaving you upset leaving you hurt all that type of stuff but i don't know i feel like they went somewhere and they learned their lesson it seemed like it seemed like they had to go deal with someone that was less mature less um i don't want to say like less than you but i mean just someone that wasn't as spiritual as as open-minded as real as authentic as you scorpio for them to learn their damn lesson why is the daydreamer here so the king of cups and the knight of pentacles this person left you wondering will they come back and if they were going to come back and be different or if they were going to ever come back. Like, you couldn't get this person off your mind, Scorpio. This person kind of had you gone for a bit. You know, you could be out and you could be having fun with your friends, family, or whatever. But it, somehow you still felt lonely or you felt alone. You know, you were kind of um, in a daze about this person. Something about the way they made you feel. Like, I don't know. It's like you missed that. But what's interesting is somehow, Scorpio, you were thinking about the the good and not the bad of this person. I mean, kudos for you for seeing the, the, the light instead of the darkness. But it's important for us to see the light, too, you know, and not, not try to, you know, act like everything was all peaches and cream when we know that, damn, when the person comes back, you know exactly why. Like, you were like, damn, that's why, you know, this person hurt me or something like that. Okay. So let's see. What's up with destiny? The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So this is real love. This is true love. This, this, is, this is the type of love that's sent by the um, God. It's sent by Beloved. This is the type of love that brings you into a a happy place a happy space where it's all this joy and and um fulfillment and and um like it's like a whole new life when this type of love come in and it seemed like that's what this person brought like you love this person and I feel like Scorpio, this person loves you too. But like I said, it's like they had to lose you to appreciate you. Now they get it. But they had to walk away to really understand what was being handed to them by God. Okay. But let's see here. What's the outcome for Scorpio and this person?
true love is manifesting. That's why all these, like, it's going to be so much love between you two. Like, I feel like, you know, this break was necessary. This break was, like, meaningful. Like, you guys had to, like, break up to make up and come back together with different mindsets. Because the way this person was, this person was mean as hell, Scorpio. They probably used to say mean things to you, like, um dismiss your emotions dismiss your feelings and you know you're a water sign you have emotions but you're you're one of the i don't want to say one of the less emotional water signs because you guys are all emotional but the way you you are the death card the way that you're able to op open people up people tell you all kind of stuff they don't tell nobody else you know but you you hide a lot of emotions. You know, Scorpios are very possessive and, and stuff over their spouse. But you tend to hide or you tend to hid these emotions from this person as well. Okay. So let's see. Let's go ahead and get you a message from Beloved. Close out this reading. I'll let you interpret your own fortune. This is the Zoltar Speaks. So, Beloved, what message do you have for Scorpio as we close out this reading? What message do you have for Scorpio, please? Thank you. Alrighty. And this is what it looks like. So it says, you may be riding the winds of change. Things may at times seem to be out of touch. Soon they will come down to a better order. As the blessings of health and fortune have a beginning, so they must also find an end. Everything rises but to fall. To make sense of all this, you will find the answers to be found in how well you relate to people. Look at the big picture. Will help shape your long-range plans. If things are not always smooth, remember that he who could foresee affairs but three days in advance will be rich for a thousand years. Your lucky numbers, Scorpio, are 14, 17, 30, 34, 19, and 47. Okay? But either way, Scorpio, that's the message I have for you. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely check out that description box. I do have um, tarot cards in my SD shop, uh, Black Madonna HP. And also, I do offer tarot readings. Also, don't forget to check out my shop tab. There you'll find the Twin Flame shirts, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, the Twin Flame shirts, the Zelda, I'm sorry, the Zodiac uh, t-shirts and sweaters and stuff as well. So definitely check all that stuff out. I think they pretty fly. But either way, Scorpio, I thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, love, peace, and soul. Take care.